Hey guys, I'm back with what'll be episode 15 of Agrarian Skies. Uh, me and Tiny have been having troubles trying to get on together and record. And it's been a week or so since I've last seen him and recorded with him. And we've built some things away from each other. But I got an alternate account set up and what I'm going to attempt to do is make a time lapse of me building my castle. So let's get started. I start off by placing some stone slabs around the entire platform with on which I'll be building just so that way it's a nice step up around onto the platform then I start filling it in with dirt and torches and mobs get in the way so it's interesting just trying to fight them off and get rid of all the torches at the same time. But with the help of the builder's wand, I am able to quickly place down a lot of dirt. And that definitely helps to speed up the process. And then because it turns night and mobs are spawning, I make a torch dash and place down some torches and kill most of the mobs and grab some more dirt. Then using water to get rid of all the torches, I then continue filling in And now that the dirt's almost filled in, just a few more clicks. There we go. I locate the center block and put a torch on it to remind me. And I start work on the towers. The tower I mess up on a few times and then once I get it to the correct dimensions that I feel like is a good size, I begin building up. Then using grass seed, I clicked a piece of dirt and now it's grass, so that'll spread to all the other dirt blocks eventually. And now that I'm working on the towers, I've finished the first and second and started on the third. With the help of the builder's wand, it, building goes extremely quickly. And the fourth tower is completed. Finding the m block that is in the middle of the towers, not the middle of the inside, but in between the towers, I mark it with some stone brick, and then going from that block to the center, I dig out and replace the dirt with some open blocks tanks. And then going diagonally from the center to the side of the first tower, I fill in the area using some open box tanks and I repeat the process for each tower facing towards the center. Then building up from in between or er, hmm, building up from the middle of the towers I start on a pillar and then I go to work on finishing the diagonals.
Then on each of the four sides, I build a pillar and a small base out of stone brick stairs. Then in the middle, using some stone slabs and tanks, I create a little pedestal-like thing or structure. And using a ME fluid export bus, I start to fill up the open blocks tanks with lava. Then, deciding on what height to build my pillars up to, I get that worked out, and then start building a walkway between the towers that goes above the pillars with open box tanks. I'm using the open box tanks as one, a light source, because with lava in them, they do give off light. And two, to use them as a different color, because I didn't want the entire structure to be made out of stone and stone bricks, and all the grays that Minecraft has to offer. So, I wanted to use the open box tanks as an accent, then going around the walkway I put stairs on the bottom and stone bricks above the stairs and stone slabs on every other block. Then working with stone slabs on how I want to connect the walkway to the towers. I just mess around and experiment with what I like. Working on the walkway, I decide that I did not like the bottom of it, so I use some stone brick slabs and covered up the bottom. And then I also did not like the edge of the platform being made out of dirt and grass. So uh, going around, I replaced it with some stone bricks and realized that in doing so, my towers were now closer to the outside than what I'd like. So, I begin removing the first tower and in doing so, I move, I inadvertently or unknowingly gave the grass more time to spread. Then, forgetting where the tower just was, I start rebuilding the tower in the same location. I figure this out quickly and start building the tower where I want it to be, which gives it one block of dirt, or soon to be grass, on the outside of the tower. But moving that one tower makes the walkway off, so I go around and remove all of the pillars and walkway, and then I start placing the walkway back. Then removing the walkway which I had completed mostly, I get all of the materials back, and I get to rebuild it. 
So then, doing that, moves the walkway, and now the other towers are not aligned with the new walkway, so I have to move the other towers. But I get working on the walkway and get it set up. So, making sure I have now placed the towers correctly so that it connects to the walkway with a look that I like. I start removing the other towers and the walkway that connects to them. Sadly, due to the distance and the location of the camera, some of the blocks do not update correctly, and I end up standing in them, which gives off an interesting effect. But getting the tower aligned correctly, I build it up, and I grab some tanks to fill it in. Removing the walkway, which due to a visual glitch is not seen past a certain distance. So it appears I am walking on air. But I get the walkway built up and the pillars moved over. And I start on removing the third tower. And this one I decided to remove vertically, so piece by piece up and down versus layer by layer horizontally. And then I get the new tower lined up and start building up with it. Feeding the walkway through the tower, I get the walkway to the fourth tower, and begin on the removal of the fourth tower. Now getting the fourth tower lined up. I begin placing some tanks to make sure that I place them correctly and begin building up. Now working on the walkways, I place stone brick stairs on the sides of the open block tanks. and then stone bricks on top of the stairs. These stairs are upside down and it helps to give it a little bit more definition. So instead of just being bricks holding it up, it's more detailed. Then repeating the same design on all of the walkways, I go around and put the stone slabs on top of the stone bricks and finish the third walkway. Now on to the fourth. I start off with stairs on connecting the walkway to the tower, then stone slabs connecting the top of the walkway to the tower. Then making sure that I did all of the walkways correctly, I go around looking at them. 
and then grab some stone slabs. These I build out from the top of the tower, and I build out triangular, or so that it forms a triangle from the corner of the tower, so as to make a nice smooth bottom of it, or a smooth sloped bottom. And I repeat this on all four towers. Then once that's completed, I go around, raising the towers up a bit, due to they're now shorter than needed. I then create the top of the first tower and going across with some stone bricks as a filler I place stone stairs or stone brick stairs upside down using the stone bricks and then I go around with some open blocks tanks to make a square. using stone brick stairs I surround the open box tanks and then connect the open box tanks to the center pillar I run out of stone bricks and go back and grab some more so that I may finish the top of the towers then filling in the open areas of the square I start on that and I also place some stone bricks on top of the stairs I then take some stone slabs and go around placing them and I have a lot of difficulty due to just the number of mobs and then getting past them I start working my way around and I am able to finish all the stone slabs then taking some ME cable and a fluid export bus I begin to fill the tanks so that they give off light and mobs stop spawning then after a quick connection reset I begin work on the tower again by taking some tanks from the corners and going inward slightly I do this on all four corners to keep it symmetrical. Then I start work on the upper keep of the tower, which I made a large circle. So going around, I use some open box tanks on the outshoots from the center pillar and also on the diagonals then building up with the builder's wand and grabbing some more stone bricks then building up the tower higher because I did not like the height of it I wanted it a little higher then I reach a height that I liked and I connect the 
tanks. And I also realize that open blocks tanks will go up with liquids. So I connect the fluid export bus to the central pillar and I begin filling that with lava while filling in the tower. Then on top of the tower I put stone slabs around the outside and I work around on the inside and the other sides with the open blocks tanks because I forgot to put those in the diagonals. So now going around I make a smaller circle on top and put some open blocks tanks upwards and start raising the tower again. This tower is a little smaller in diameter but is higher up in total height. So then getting the tanks where I want them and I begin work on filling the platform above it and then I work with the tanks by filling in the empty spaces I left for them. I then start on the diagonals of the tower and realize that I ran out of height for recording. So I raise the camera up a little bit and begin work on the third tier of the tower. I fill in the tanks and then work on the diagonals and I get that and connect it all the way down and at the top. Then I repeat this all the way around and on this final side. Then going around on the second and third tier with stone slabs, I place them every other block and fill in the tower. Then I am done. Hi right, guys, I finished building the castle and oh, I just now realized I still got those markers there, but this is what it looks like up close. I'm still filling this up just because some of them aren't filled up completely, so yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed building this. And I also think it looks pretty neat. So, that's what the castle looks like from up close, and I 
if you like it, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you think something needs to be changed or you have ideas for how to make it look better, go ahead and comment. Thanks for watching, and see you later.